everyone, Darkwater here, and welcome to Poppy Playtime. This is a horror game, and given the Halloween season, I decided to uh, just venture out of the norm and play a little, a little horror game and see how well this goes. Now, again, I have horror is nowhere near my uh, my genre, so I'm gonna give something a little bit different to try here. And in addition to that, we're gonna go ahead and. Hello! Decided to do a uh, face cam for this, because it is a horror game. So, decided to run this. This is my messy office for the time being. Got it cleaned at some point. Um, but I've seen quite a few people playing this on their channel. Uh, a lot of the reviews say it is pretty scary, so, uh, it's been a while since I've done anything scary. The last horror esque type game that I think I've played was. Fear, and that was more of just a first person shooter with uh, horror elements, but yeah. Let's give Poppy Playtime a shot and see what we have. That is creepy. Reminds me of uh, Grover from Sesame Street, just a little bit more demented. Uh, chapter 1 A Tight Squeeze. As an ex employee of Playtime Company, you've finally returned to the factory after many years after everybody within disappeared. Okay, why am I returning if everybody's missing and I'm... All my co-workers, well, ex-co-workers are missing. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Wasn't that Teddy Ruxpin? Didn't Teddy Ruxpin do the same thing? Poppy that is creepy. Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I, I don't like her eyes. You. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect! Thank you! Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. I don't know about What's that. What's the time? Playtime! Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can... Now, I enjoy factory tours, but doll tours? Nope. Dolls? Dolls? Dolls creep me out. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Vintage puppy commercial on a VHS. You sent me a VHS tape like I've got a VHS player? Now, full disclosure. Not a big horror person? Hey, I can move. Um, you got some... Long arms there, bud. Um, yeah, I don't watch a whole lot of horror movies. Haven't played very many horror genre games. Escape to pause. Can I just escape right now? Uh, oh, was that running? Okay, the sprint. So sprint is a thing. Jump. Okay, controls crouch. Oh, I kicked the trash can. Okay, that was what I just saw scurry by. Uh, computer? No? Clicky? No? Can I get a pen? No? Okay. VHS? Can I not pick up the VHS tape? Lathe Pierre closing. Can I? Hold on. Uh, controls, jump, shift, control, E. Okay. And then left click, right click. Okay. E. And I'm guessing the green tape goes in the green piece of car. Oh, hey, there's TV up here. Hi, 
My name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little right. tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Nope, don't even know what I'm doing. I just showed up today. I can jump on boxes. What's that? It's a boogie boy? Okay. Uh, if you give me a broom, I can sweep up some of these leaves. We've got security. The good old welcome center. And got a gift shop. Like brawn. Oh, eat healthy like brawn. Playtime Co. Cafeteria recommends a daily intake of 4,000 calories. That's, that's way too many. Well, I guess if you're Brontosaurus. E to open doors. Your gift shop looks a little, uh, thin. It's a boogie bot, okay. We got empty boxes of Huggies up there. Can I get into the register? No? Oh, it's a boogie bot. He looks like he's boogied out. <laughs> it's a candy cat. That's a creepy tongue, my little furry friend. Okay. Poppy wants to poppy. Uh, I don't want to play with Poppy. Hey, little cat. I'm guessing we've got some kind of color coded puzzle. Uh, floor. Well, we've got these tiles leading up. Red, blue, yellow, white. Red, blue, yellow, white. No. Other way around. White, blue, yellow, red. No, that's not right at all. <laughs> white, yellow, blue, red. Oh, there might be a fifth one. Hold on. Red, blue, yellow, white. No. So it is only four long, though. I feel it was. I thought I saw something glowing right there. Uh, that just might be. It's just crack between the floor and the wall. Turnstile? No. Probably have to get through security. No paper. Where's that trash can I just get? No, nothing with that. Oh, I really hope there wasn't something on the video I missed. No? I can't even eject it. Okay. Everything's red, blue, white, and yellow. Oh shit, it's tr oh. Well, there's four. Uh, green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Hey, there we go. Not the greatest of security systems. 
would be CR tape. What is this? Grab pack training? Yeah, training. Good old playtime corner. Grab pack. Do I just not have arms right now? Oh. These are arms for my arms. Why do I need arms? Oh, they're arm cannons. Okay, I'm on board now. Triggered fire, pull again to retract. Hold to grip an object. Okay. Fire only at small objects slash handles. Not fire a coworker. <laughs> Wire is conductive. So back. Now we gotta go post? Maybe? I, I don't know what that post was. Maybe you can go around posts. Oh wait, is this it? Oh. Oh, apparently yes. Have a hand. Sir. Sure. down to full objects <laughs> and get smacked in the face by a chair. Holy hell, that goes, that goes some distance. Can I change that light bulb? Guessing. Okay. Kind of straightforward, I can get it. Can I just jump up? Apparently, yes. Yes, I can. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Can I have five of them? Am I anywhere down? I wonder how many people have high fived him. Out of space. I. No, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, yes. Ah, uh, Huggy Wuggy. You're Huggy? You're creepy. Uh, Playtime Company has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with the people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig. Aim to create a toy which could hug you forever. Oh, hell no. As is always true, Playtime Company's four-step process to creating toys, creating the most lifelike toys was a success. Oh, can I hit that button? Can I hit this? No? Oh, that's creepy. Nope, that's a hard no. <sighs> it's gonna hug you till you pop. <laughs> okay. Uh, with a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Company's most popular and best selling toy so far. Can I change the what? No, apparently I can't. Oh, that's creepy. I don't like that at all. Alright, what do we got? We got power. We got mystery door. We got testing. We got our little boogie bot. We got innovation. Take your card out. Oh, we got the cat. He's cute. I'll pat you on the head. Uh, we've got the theater. We've got brawn. And I don't have a right hand, so. That's not going to be an option. And we got the cafeteria, so you can get your 4,000 calories in. Well, apparently we're going this way. Or not. I'm guessing we're supposed to go to power first, then. Or not. Can I break the window? No. The door handle? No. Oh, oh, okay. Well, 
I go in here then? No? Can I go into any of these? Apparently I just kind of phased through the door a little bit there. Why does the innovation have a little hand slapper thing? You're, I'm guessing, already locked. Cafeteria? Can you go in the cafeteria? No. Um... What am I missing? That key was not here before. Do I need to equip it or anything? No? Okay. Oh, that works. Oh, I don't like this. You're shiny. Air separator, conveyor. Can I flip any of these? No? Stool's not going to do me any good. Um, cables. Cables. Remember, do be kind to others. Do show up on time. Do not hide behind doors to scare Lathe Pierre. Okay, the fact that you had to build a sign for that, sure. Uh, don't stay past 8 p.m. Don't misuse company time. Don't tamper with machinery. Don't enter innovation wing without authorization. Can I take this broom and uh, go sweep the front? Nope, okay. Well, what am I doing back here? Uh, Lake, you guys got some uh, issues here. Oh. Handle. Grab to divert. I can do that. Ooh, I'm electric. Is it going to this cord? No. What am I... I bolted. No. Wait, what the hell? What is that? Here, I found right now. Can I hit from here? Yes, I can. Oh. Okay. Does this allow me to bend it around? Yeah. So I get the. Okay, where am I going with this? Do that here. It's closed. Am I stuck? What are we doing here? Oh, gee. Okay. I guess that worked. Oh, okay. number two there. We're number two. We're number two. Oh, you're back on. Okay. Let's see where we go now. Make a friend. It's a candy cat. Reminds me of hungry, hungry hippos, just with a cat and a long tongue. What the hell was that? I assume you saw whatever going to 05 there. I don't want to go with that. Can I move you? Locked. 
Hey, you see me? Hello? but I don't do well with scares. Hey, little bot. Uh, video recorder. Video recorder. In the bins? No. Uh, box. stairs right there. Huggy says, remember to take breaks. Breaks no longer than 10 minutes. Wait, what? Breaks longer than 10 minutes are not permitted. Guess I need color blocks. Blue one. Highly fragile, do not drop. Well, there's the yellow videotape. There's one of them down there. Oh my god, move. Uh. Hey, little cat head. Videotape we've got. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program. On brand, but uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't find stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's, it's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is, is that even a word? Habitable. don't know if that's a word. Um, also, Rich needs to be careful whenever he's yelling when he's on the job. Is that my right hand?
I give myself a high five. No? At the baby face. At the face. Oh! Hey, look, there's a walkway over here to the right. Uh, more rollers. Fan. Ah! Can I get that from here? Yeah. What the hell? correct way to go? It goes back here. Maybe I need to go around? Oh. Apparently that's as far as I can go. You have to connect. Oh, lampshade. Need to do that. Don't know what that actually does. Maybe it's an amplifier. Cheap work. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're going up the conveyor belt. Dude, that is a steep conveyor belt. stage for all of Playtime Company's greatest feats. Yet of all the amazing things that he created, the Make a Friend Machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It's solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Company toy sold to, on the market today. All it needs is to be fed with the proper parts, and then it will paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of all the toys on, on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting and backbreaking labor. This machine can do it all and more. Apparently, it needs power. Nobody leaves without a toy. Yes, again, you to assemble a toy and put it there. 
Fostering happiness, adopt an orphan today. That's a lot of text. Uh, we encourage Playtime Company employees to take part in our mission by fostering or adopting an orphan. Initiative helps children, not only in the Midwest region, but also orphans around the world. Every child deserves a chance at a new life. Cool. By all means, adopt an orphan. Ludwig, take care of your factory, my man. I'm rusting through here. Uh, pink. Yes. Ah, videotape. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yes. Human bodies just can't stay young forever. No. There's things, Entropy. Though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. What are you right? going on about? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. Little? Stella, I, I don't... Stella, take a break. No more than ten minutes, but... I, I, I think you need to take a break. Okay, Blackford. Where's it going? Slighty guy. Oh, crap. Oh, there's fall damage. Or at least there's fall stunnage. Um, how about we try that again just without the falling part? I blame Stella. Stella got me thinking about old people and trees. Here, I'm guessing this is going to be a thing? Is that one of those? Th okay, that's one of those things. Um, oh, that's another one. Okay, so there's two of them. Do I have to go around both, or can I choose? Bring this back to that side. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to take it over and move that at some point. Otherwise be the most exciting couple. Can I go around one? Are you turned on? Yes. I... Oh. Did I need to do this with the other hand? Crap. Um, let's go back, do it with the left hand. Okay. Turn around this way. Going around that post, one over here. No. Maybe I do need to go around both. The little circle there in the center shows how far I can take it. Backtrack for a second. Loop around there, loop around the other one, then go across the short bridge. Okay. Will you grab that handle? Oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> okay. 
No. Okay, yeah. Try this again here. this one. Go across without falling and dying. Uh, come over on this side. And I pull you across. We're not going to fall down. We'll jump down the stairs, however. There, okay. Go turn on the button. That center one's eyes follow you. Oh, I don't like that at all. Cat? Got a cat toy? You! Oop! I'm so happy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go put it over here. Scanning. Boy, accept. Yay. It's the stairway to hell. Okay. Staff only. Go! Stairs, 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 stairs. Can I not? Nope, nope, nope. Ah! I need you alive. Well, thanks. Don't like that. Don't like that.
this is there's there's not an option, is there? Oh, light, flashy light. It's just dark. Feet and I don't like it. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, geez. Don't. Don't what? More lives are at risk than just yours. Thanks. there to the left. Isn't he wonder- no! He can fuck off! Stupid Huggy. Yeah, I agree, Mr. Big Red Box, but oh, the face. There's a hold flat. Here. I'm going this way. Is there stamina? Nope, oh, not going that way. Oh, door. Oh, shit. Not that way. I don't know where I'm going. Tell me to stop. Feeling good about this now. <sighs> Don't like panicking us. Okay. We got this. I believe. Bye, Huggy. I think I need to go back and go left there instead. Okay. I'm trying to map this in my head and it's not going well. 
Probably because it's just fear and panic. Hi, Huggy. Well, there's the poppy that we're looking for. I don't like this catwalk, quite frankly. Alright. Poor Huggy, all he wanted to do, do was hug you to death. You dead end? Loop conveyor belt. Don't know if those have anything to do with anything. You just dead end. Can I? Part of me wants to jump off that, but. and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... Okay, that pounding was just on the tape. Oh, it's so goddamn quiet. Boogie bot. Cat. It's Bronto. Because this door doesn't look ominous. I don't want to go. If this turns into some PT ship, I'm. music box. But there's pillows. I left it. <laughs> I didn't expect to grab it. <laughs> there's a 
door. Can I move this dresser? No. Anything in the dollhouse? No. Can I open, Can I open the dresser? No. Bookshelf? Anything? No. Expecting one more jump scare. Oh, didn't mean to grab it, I just wanted to tap the glass. the end of chapter one. Okay. Wow. Well. That was something. Again, I don't play horror games, but I did enjoy that regardless of all the scares. Um, I don't actually know if they're going to come out with a chapter two. I assume they are. Probably at least go through two, three more sections of the factory, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to, if whenever chapter two rolls around, uh, drop a like down below so I know you guys want to see me struggle through that one as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, hopefully you guys have a fantastic uh, Halloween. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a spectacular day. Uh.